Hello you guys and welcome. Today we're going to be starting a whole new challenge in hardcore Minecraft. Now technically this is bedrock so there is no hardcore version but we are playing on hard and we're playing with one life. Now just a few of the self-imposed rules because eventually we do make more but first off we only can eat specific types of foods and we're supposed to leave our house every five days. Well, we biscuits. Biscuits? You know what I mean? Fried, like, okay. Fried steak, biscuits. <laughs> and taters. Yeah, you know. Oh, that's, yeah. that's more. It's not really like Irishman, though. Well, not the fried steak, but I feel like the biscuits is. Biscuits, too. Like Actually, two you know biscuits. what? Yeah. No. Throw that shit out. I, I am hungry, though, which is. Yeah, I'm gonna throw at that too. After Ethan threw all of our food in the water, we went to go collect some wood, and after a while, we found a village. We should take one plot of land and try to like grow as much potatoes as we can. While we were walking around pillaging, I ended up finding a really good trade. Um, what's it called? It's massive. Huh? That's what she said. <laughs> village? Yeah. With this being the first place that we end up spending five days, we had to make the most of it. So I went around and checked all of the trades to figure out that there was one farm villager and there was a few others that weren't really important, but there was also the villager we saw earlier with the sharpness one sword. So off we were to the races of getting emeralds. Also, one thing, Ethan and I are sharing literally everything in this series. What the fuck? This guy's just laying on the fucking ground. Ethan, come over here. This is a really- There's no fucking potatoes anywhere in this goddamn village. No. Look at this fucker. That's just you, man. Jeez. There's oh, There's a skeleton really? right there. But there's also a zombie with chainmail. And a gold guy right there. I'm gonna go Ooh, find wait. the house. Wait, hold up. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Let's take it. Are you what, gonna fight him? Gonna... I was just gonna say, let's just sleep you right here. On day two, we still had nothing, including a house. So we were gonna go around, collect a good amount of wheat, and then we were gonna go find which house we wanted to live in. Enchanted iron sword. Oh shit. Yeah. That's what we're doing these five days. We're making, we're working the fields. Yeah, I wanna like probably the next five days we're wanna we're gonna wanna go mining and we're gonna wanna take as much as we can from here. <laughs> this actually is going to be another rule we will be implementing into the series. We can't just go mining. The main reason for this series is the nomadic part. We're supposed to be going village to village, so we can go mining, but if we don't go mining within the first day of settling somewhere, then inherently we're not there to mine, so there is no reason we should mine. But speaking of that, we ended up finally finding which house we wanted, and we are officially starting our five days, three days in. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> After making the house feel a little bit more like home, I went over, bought the Sharpness One Sword, and we continued our farming, and we continued looking for a potato. We really needed to get a potato from a zombie so we could start our little farm. Luckily, Ethan ended up getting one through the night, and the next morning, we were gonna build a potato farm. We also don't have a house, so hold on. Now you may be wondering why we're building this like dirt border around the potato, but we had no idea if the villager was going to grab the potato or not when he went to go farm. So we built this little like dirt hut for the potato, hoping that we would be able to at least get one. Gives us something. Yeah, whenever we go um, to the next spot, we'll go mining or at least I'll go mining. Now for the next few days, all we could focus on was the potato and trying to get wheat so we could try to get emeralds. At the end of the day, we ended up getting Ethan the sword and all of our materials. And on the fifth day, we were finally ready to move on. Let's go into the jungle. Or do you want to go the opposite way of the jungle and continue into the savannah? Before we leave the first spot that we have moved into, we're about halfway through the video, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more if you want to see this. Savannah, let's keep going through the savannah. Okay. 
Off we were, sprinting into the savanna. We ended up running right back into a jungle. We found a bird, found some bamboo, and then we ended up finding this. Whoa, 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 whoa! What, what? I'm coming. <gasps> no! Yep, we ended up finding an actual jungle temple. I haven't been able to find one of these in literal years. Like, I think it's been a literal 10 years since I've ever been in one of these. Ethan was kind of the same way, so we ended up actually just making this our base. With us finally having our base down and our first day officially starting tomorrow, it was time to go mining. I needed to make sure I got enough resources for us when we had to go somewhere next. Okay, one heart, one heart, one heart, one heart. I need help. <laughs> Come to me, I have no food. <laughs> I have two zombies up. What are the three requirements for mining? Food, pickaxe, and torches. And all I brought was pickaxe. But at the end of the day, I was able to get home safely because I just mined literally through the mountain. And luckily, Ethan was starting the farm. A little close, but we're good. With me being all fueled up, I went down, checked up on Ethan, make sure he didn't need anything, and we were going back down. We needed more materials. Oh, my forehead is going to be in major pain. Jesus Christ. Slam, slam. Mining is really boring to watch, so we're just gonna do a little jump cut and I'm gonna show you that we got about a stack of iron. And at this point, we were on day three of five. We were rushing through these days. I, I like how we did this. That's cool. Little underground farming area. It's gonna be sad when we leave this place, but we're gonna have... Yeah. We're, we're taking all the potatoes with us, what the fuck? Well, I'm just meaning all of it in general because it looks nice. For the next few days, Ethan continued to farm and I made sure everything was smelted. While I was waiting for all the things to smelt though, I was going out collecting stuff for compost, trying to find bones. We need bone meal so we can get this farm really going. We're about eight minutes into this video. If you guys have found yourself enjoying, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Also, if you guys wanna see me continue Minecraft, be sure to let me know down in the comments. At this point, we did both agree that we could use Shulker's four backpacks, so we ended up filling up our backpacks, and we were about to hit the open seas. Okay, not like that. Not to, yeah, right there. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> that was some hero brain shit right there, bro. <laughs> I looked up, you were just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, holy shit, we haul ass on these things. That's a straight up cliff. I love holy looking. Fuck. Yeah, I love looking at how Minecraft generates nowadays. It's insane. It's changed so much. Okay. Like, yeah, I see, see what you mean. <laughs> Doesn't that look crazy? Now you've now you understand.